Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We are with YouTube. Uh, we did just do our 1 to 100 uh, raid run. And now we're going to talk about the different combinations that I've been experimenting with and uh, how it kind of works. If you want to see the process of my experimentation with these units, uh, you can go ahead and watch my VOD uh, from my stream earlier today. But these are the combinations that are working for me, the combinations that maybe with a little bit of love you'll have a lot of success with. Let's go ahead and dig in. First off, for those of you that are looking at bonus units and kind of wondering what bonus units to use, uh, I found that the best unit to use so far has been Elena, uh, Dwayne, Victoria, Fryevia. I've had a lot of bad luck uh, trying to make lightning work. Uh, I have not been able to get lightning to work on this raid at all in a four man or a two man composition. Uh, Velne and uh, Ravi's kind of just both didn't cut it for me. Maybe if I 120'd Ravi's or I worked and kind of optimized a little bit more, I could make it work. Uh, the only two, I haven't done Ryu, but I did do Krace and we do have a water gunner composition, but definitely. Uh, Elena and Dwayne are really easy to do. Uh, Victoria and Fryevia also work. So uh, my main composition, of course, is going to be two limited units, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, you can make both of these, um, Elena and Summer Kilfay, work as a duo. You can't really get Elena to reliably solo Omega, as far as I've been able to tell. Uh, she kind of dies or gets hit, even if she's in her evasion mode or if she's in a brawler mode. I had my Elena with 67% dark resistance and she was still getting her ass killed by Omega before she was able to kill Omega. So really any unit that you have with Elena is gonna work. So that's gonna be Elena and Summer Kilfay is really easy. Uh, Elena and Yuna are really good duo composition. Um, outside of that, uh, since I know a lot of people don't have like all the limited units, uh, I did run a Dark Slash composition, and the Dark Slash worked exactly how you would expect Dark Slash to work. Uh, you put Dwayne in here, Ruin Stern, Stern, and Venera. My Ruin Stern's only at 99, and he did fine. Uh, you could probably slip in Shadow Links into this combination. Uh, you could probably even run Ryu if you really wanted to, uh, if you didn't have any other bonus units, and it could probably work. Uh, but Dark Slash, really easy. Ice Slash, uh, Fryevia was fine at level 99. You could also run Victora. Uh, if you're running Victora Sub Soldier and just have her use either Paralyzing Edge or Hard Slash, I like her to use Hard Slash. Um, but in this situation, I used Fryevia. They're both the same bonus and they both have access to Ice Slash attacks. The reason I'm using Fryevia is because I can set... Um, I can set Fryzess on Fryavia because it's a magic VC, but it also gives ice attack up to the party. Uh, so that's the reason I chose to use Fryavia over Victoria. Uh, pretty much the big importance here are going to be Gilgamesh and Laswell. You could replace Oron literally with like Victoria again. You could run like Victoria, Fryavia. You could run Velric. You could probably run almost any ice slash unit and you would probably be fine you might even be able to get away with running any generic slash unit as well uh just because the nature of gilgamesh and laswell is very powerful in terms of their synergy and you're going to be capping damage kind of no matter what out of all of my compositions i actually found ice slash was probably the most consistent most reliable uh, I haven't tried any Ice Slash duo compositions because I don't have Fryevia EX to 120. I also don't have um, Victoria EX to 120 yet, though I will here very soon. Uh, but I do wonder if maybe like Laswell Fryevia could duo or Fryevia uh, Gilgamesh. Uh, kind of since they're both a little brawly, Fryevia starts out with a higher amount of AP. Uh, so you could maybe run like Fryevia, Gilgamesh, Slash Resistance down, have Fryevia kind of deal some damage, lower defense. Because uh, I believe her job level 25 lowers defense. I think we were talking about that in chat today. Um, so I do believe that's what her job level 25 does, right? Uh, raises her defense in Spear. Okay, so someone was telling me it lowers defense, but that is not true. So Fryevia, probably not the way to go. 
Um, but maybe you could do like Victora. Yeah, it'll probably, you probably won't be able to ice duo and still maintain a bonus unit. Uh, water missile, probably the most creative composition that I came up with. Um, the espers are not optimized for them. And I don't have Krace's vision card. Uh, I did have to EX Krace to make this clear. And out of all my compositions, this is probably the composition that is the most unstable. I would not recommend this unless you have Krace 120. Uh, I had to EX Krace to 107 in order to clear. And the reason I EX Krace to 107 is because she gets an upgrade uh, to double shot, uh, which does give um critical damage up and then on critical hit lowers ap consumption so that was pretty important for me to get this to work uh also the ap generation is a little bit off on all of them so uh because victoria is the only one with bells so you enter into a weird situation where your clear is going to be based off of if Krace and lara crit so that they get increased ap uh because again you're trapped using the flan or the white miniature marshmallow because you do want to have sleep and paralysis resistance that's something you'll see throughout all of this is i do have the white marshmallow elena doesn't need it uh because she has natural immunity to sleep and paralysis uh but let's go ahead and run some clear compositions and i'll show you guys kind of how it's going uh let's do let's do ice uh light duo first uh is gonna be a good place to start so let's go ahead and run light duo uh, we will run Elena and Summer Kilfay, and they should just clear this pretty easy. Uh, one thing with Summer Kilfay is I do not have a Golden Axe plus five, uh, but I did wonder if I could find a clear composition utilizing Yuna and Summer Kilfay. Uh, I don't have a Golden Axe plus five, so I do use uh, I do use Moraga's TMR on her, which tends to work just fine. But I think with Bell's and with a Golden Axe plus five, you may be able to run Summer Kilfay and uh, Yuna as a duo clear, would be my bet. Uh, Elena is just really powerful in terms of bringing chains. I do not have Ramza either, but I imagine you could potentially run a uh, Elena and a Ramza composition as well, um, especially considering Ramza has that kind of dream within a dream ability uh, to kind of triple hit i don't think he has dream within a dream i think it's just a slash attack in his main kit i'm not sure because i don't have him but you can see we're literally going to clear omega on turn nine maybe turn eight like we're way up here uh in terms of elena's sub job i've been doing sub spell blade with elena i've been really enjoying this sub spell blade uh just because the banish blade and the banish cup blade do actually give uh dark killer uh, so the Dark Killer kind of enhances her damage, and it's a very low AP cost ability. So it does seem to work pretty well. Uh, I have Bahamut on her in this version here, uh, but Carbuncle is probably going to be the best Esper that you can put on her because uh, you do get Dark Resistance and you do get uh, Dark Killer. So I would definitely recommend Carbuncle as well. Let's go ahead and run the unit composition just so you guys can see how it works here. Uh, and then we'll just show off the ice and dark comp. Or maybe we'll just show off the missile comp. Everybody knows how an ice and a dark comp works. So let's go ahead. We'll actually, after this, show off the missile comp and see if it can actually, if it can actually make it through. Um, I would be interested in doing a light magic or a light missile comp or a rainbow missile comp when I get Jaden maxed out. But I don't think I'm going to get Jaden maxed out this week because I want to wait for the 100 shards that are coming in. Oh, my unit still has re-raise set. <laughs> Not to worry, we will still clear here. You know, there was something when I was trying to get lightning to work on this Omega raid, the biggest problem I had were these ads in the back because the AI seems to want to target them and it's just so bad it's killing me it literally killed any hope for a lightning composition that i had uh to put together so uh aloha frank welcome in we're just making a youtube video for the raid guide um but you can see of course yuna doing her thing holy banished blade the whole thing going on yuna chains off of elena really well 
Uh, so you'll notice that Elena basically sets up for Yuna to cap damage every time. Except for that time, because I think Yuna ran out of holy. <laughs> Which does happen. It does happen. So make sure you sub Kododama with her uh, so that she can still do some light element attacks here. There we go. All right, now <laughs> let's go ahead and show off the water missile comp since it is a fun composition that I enjoyed. Uh, again, this composition might die. I literally, this comp is so fragile in its clear conditions right now that like nobody should ever be running this comp unless water missile is the only comp you have. And even then, like maybe get your Krace 120 first because uh, having Krace 120 would probably make this composition work a lot better. Uh, but this is the composition here. Um, let's go ahead and start it up. Um, Krace needs to have just a little bit more power in AP, and that's why pushing to try and maybe get her 120 would be a big deal, because uh, she just doesn't hit as hard as Lara or Victoria. And also the abilities that Victoria chooses to use are a little weird. You could probably optimize her a little bit better here. Uh, you'll notice she's gonna spam the shit out of Dispel Spread, which I haven't figured out why she does that. I know she takes out the ads first with it, but I'm not sure why she just spams it on Omega after that. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> but you can see Krace is actually doing some good damage here. And there's the Dispel Spread. Krace continuing to do her double shot ability. The one thing with Lara, Lara is gonna run out of AP here. It might be worth it to put Bells on Lara, but I'm not sure. Like Lara does have the AP generation ability that she pops in the beginning of the fight. Uh, so, I mean, because she has that, I didn't wanna put Bells on Lara. I wanted to put it on Victoria. So it's just kind of, it's up in the air. And you can see here, they're starting to run out of AP. The boss is not low enough HP. It's a little scary. You're like, holy shit, I'm not going to clear this. Like, you're starting to sweat. And then Lara comes in with a cap damage. Oh, it's going to be close again. Oh, kill him, Lara. Kill him. Oh, my God. That's how close it is. Like, that's why I'm literally telling y'all that having Krace 120, if you're going to run with water missile... Uh, is definitely the way to go because it is that is way too close and I am amazed that that actually cleared while I did that um <laughs> oh man all right guys um other than that I hope you guys if you have a good lightning clear composition let me know um most lightning clear comps I haven't really found to be easy or viable um but maybe maybe there's something I'm missing maybe there's a secret I've tried Charlotte and Cloud. I tried Velne. I've tried Charlotte Cloud. I've, I haven't tried Ravi's EX 120 yet. My Ravi's is only 99. That might have been the reason. Uh, but I tried a variety like of 9S with Nightblade slash chaining. Uh, and it was just kind of a mess. So uh, yeah, hope this video helped you guys. If you do want to support me, use my affiliate link dig.gs slash coins or dig.gs slash offer. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.